It's hard to suggest what sort of value Gilfie has in today's market, but to us, he's priceless. So said Hugh Jenkins, Swansea City's chairman. Priceless is a meaningless term in today's football market, but statistically at least, Sigurdsson's value to Swansea is significant. Swansea scored 45 goals, 13th most in the league, but were 4th for chances created at set pieces and 2nd for assists from set pieces. This made Swansea the 3rd most efficient at converting set piece chances into goals, aided by the aerial prowess of Fernando Llorente. Gilfie Sigurdsson's delivery was a significant part of this. Only four players registered five or more assists from set pieces in 2016-17, with another five managing four. Of these, Sigurdsson was top of the league with eight. And he also created the most chances from set pieces of any player. 61.5% of all Sigurdsson's assists came from set pieces, a high proportion, but one that probably says more about how Swansea converted chances than it does about the Icelandic midfielder's deficiencies in open play. In total, Sigurdsson scored 9 goals and registered 13 assists for a total attacking output of 22, joint 10th in the league and the only player from a bottom half side to reach 20 goals plus assists. He was third in the league for assists, despite creating over 20 chances fewer than both the two players above him, De Bruyne and Eriksson. Again, much of this reflects his set-piece ability. Sigurdsson also scored or assisted 49% of Swansea's goals. His value to the Swans is clear. But would Everton and Tottenham, the two teams most closely linked, benefit from signing him? With football inherently a system-based team game, any assessment is hard because of who he might replace, but if we look at set pieces, then a few things pop out. Both Everton and Spurs created a lot of chances from set pieces, but with varying degrees of success. As we saw above, Swansea's percentage is the best of those creating 60 or more chances. Sigurdsson's personal tally of 15.4% of set-piece chances yielding assists is higher than Everton's by some margin, given the small variance and only marginally above Spurs, for whom Eriksson created the bulk of set-piece chances, 40 at 15% conversion. By contrast, Everton's two most creative players from set-pieces were Ross Barkley and Kevin Morales. Here, a comparison of the four players shows that Sigurdsson is perhaps slightly inferior to Eriksson and poses less of a threat from open play, but would be an upgrade on Barkley or Morales in most regards. Spurs would probably only be looking at Sigurdsson as cover, then with Deli Ali and Sun Hun Ming also superb last season. Everton, on the other hand, could do with Sigurdsson's creativity and he would almost certainly increase their ability from set pieces. Sigurdsson might be priceless to Swansea, but he could also likely prove very valuable to Everton. 